What is going on you guys? Brandon here, aka Bruatis, and in case you can't tell, I just got... I just got all my luggage, my suitcase packed because I'm about to go on a little trip. I'm about to go on a little vacation and I want to bring you guys along with me. Now, where I'm going for this little vacation, it's a little surprise. It's a mystery. I don't want to tell you guys just yet. I want to leave it as a little bit of a surprise. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking. We already know where you're going, Brandon. You're going to Phoenix, Arizona for a Suns game. But guys, what if I told you that this time I'm actually not going to Arizona. I'm not traveling for a Suns game and I'm actually going on a real vacation. I'm actually taking a trip somewhere else i'm running a little bit late to the airport what's new you guys all know me do today do today so uh, i'm gonna start driving to the airport and i'll pick this video up in a little bit guys but keep watching because i want you guys to hear where i'm going on this vacation and you guys are gonna be happy so just keep watching this video guys but let's go to the airport and hop on this flight oh hey dad I'm about to leave. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. I haven't told the vlog where I'm going yet, but I'm excited to tell them. You think they're going to be happy? Well, I know. You have some special car picking you up. Yeah, we got a, we got a special driver here today. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's different than the usual, oh, I'm going to Phoenix for a Suns game. This is a real trip, a real vacation. So, Okay, well, uh, Dad, you already know how this goes. I'm about to be late to my All flight. Right, so it, It's okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. I'll All see right. you in a couple of days. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Right, oh. There you go. Thank you so Let's much, boss. Ready. Look like you're ready. Uh, yeah, I'm finally ready. That's the perks of living close to your parents. Sometimes I pop out of my house and yeah. I randomly see my dad or my yeah. mom over here. Yeah. yeah, we live really close. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Good. Yeah, it's amazing. That's nice, man. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we just pulled up to the airport right now and check this out. I know I mentioned where I'm flying to is a big surprise, but I also have another surprise for you guys. That's a special guest that's coming with me on this vacation. So this person's actually inside somewhere. So let's go find this person and show you guys who the special guest is. Uh, my favorite part about flying, going through the long TSA lines. Gotta love it. But once I get through TSA, I'll show you guys who the special guest is. And the special guest that I'm going on vacation with... Jasmine! <laughs> I'm so excited. Have you told them where we're going? I haven't told them where we're going yet, but wait, real quick. Is there a reason why you're standing by the lactation room? Are you trying oh, to- Oh, you didn't tell them? Oh, that you're pregnant. Should we, that's, that's a different video. No, us. no, no, let's be honest. Right now, you're not pregnant, but after we go on this vacation together, you might come back pregnant. We're going on a vacation. Vacation, I like vacation, that. Vacation, <laughs> not vacation. It's always a vacation with you. Okay, no, but I actually haven't told them okay, where we're going. Okay, let's tell them where we're going. Okay. All right, guys, so I've kept you waiting long enough. It's finally time to tell you where we're headed on vacation. We're going to Las Vegas, baby. I know, for once in my freaking life, I'm not traveling to Arizona for a Suns game. I know, bro. I got to do something different with my life. I feel like I live like a robot. I live the same life every single day. Pack, travel to Arizona, watch the Suns. Pack, travel to Arizona, watch the Suns again. And I feel like it's just getting kind of repetitive in the videos and it's getting a little repetitive for you guys my supporters to watch those phoenix suns vlogs so i decided me and my girlfriend both work pretty hard well i work she's in school and we're both very stressed and we deserve a vacation so we packed our stuff and we're headed to las vegas nevada baby i'm excited if i were you guys i would keep watching this video because there's so many fun things to do in las vegas and i brought my camera so i'm gonna bring you guys along with us for every single adventure and everything we do in las vegas so keep watching this video and drop a like right now because i know you guys love the travel video so go smash that like button let's leave san diego and go to las vegas baby oh let's go guys all right guys so we just boarded the airplane and we're about to take off. I'm excited, bro. And we are ready for our what? Vacation. Where we're gonna make a what? day you were like oh don't you wish you could jump oh on yeah like clouds look so fluffy i wish you could just like jump on them like i wish they didn't like you wouldn't go through and die yeah, you wouldn't go through like i just wish it was like a big jumpy house for adults and you can like pay to like go up to a cloud and like just have a jumping party It'd be like so a fun. trampoline yeah 
Hey, it looks like you could jump on them and bounce, but <laughs> in reality, I don't know. It, honestly, go try it. Should I? Yeah, go, please. Okay, guys, so we just landed in Las Vegas. Look, this is how you know you're in Vegas, watch. When you're at the airport and there's slot machines all around you, <laughs> that's how you know you're in that's Las fun. Vegas, bro. <laughs> Babe, you want to play one? TikTok? Yes, for TikTok. Say what's up. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's how you know we're in Vegas. Okay, guys, so we're about to pick up our bags from the baggage claim, but I'm really excited to see our hotel room because, long story short, I didn't book this trip myself. I actually got flown out here by... Should I? You didn't tell them? I didn't tell them. Uh, well, this is not only a vacation, but we're here for something special. But should I tell them now? Not now. Hold on. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, bro, I feel like this video is full of surprises. Number one, you guys didn't know where I was going. Number two, you guys didn't know who I was going with. Now, number three, you guys don't know the real reason that I am in Las Vegas. You know what? Okay, obviously, I'm going to tell you guys, but let's just get out of the airport because... I'm super awkward and I hate vlogging in public places in front of people and I feel like everyone's staring at me and I get social anxiety. So let me uh, let me get out of the airport and like I was saying, I'm really excited to see our hotel room because I'm not the one who booked this trip. I got flown out by uh, I sound like a hoe. Like I got flown out by, a, but I'm not talking about that. I got flown out by a big, big, big brand, by a big company. And so I don't know what the hotel room looks like. I don't know where we're going, but I'm excited to be surprised just like you guys are watching this video. Let's go, guys. You know you're getting flown out by a big brand when there's someone at the bottom of the escalator uh, holding your name. I think there is, I think. Really? Yeah, and there was a driver that picked me up from my house. I swear, I don't usually get this type of treatment. <gasps> oh my God, three times. <laughs> oh, it is, it is. Oh my God, there is someone holding my name. Wait, I didn't know that. I'm not used to this type of treatment, bro. <laughs> Wait, where are they? Where are they? Wait, I just saw them. They're walking away. Wait, are you sure it said my name? Yeah, did I swear it, it said did? your name? I thought you were joking. Damn. You said that hey, yo, I'm famous. <laughs> Oh, I'm lit. Wait, where is it, babe? Wait, wait. Which one is it? Hold on, is it this one? Oh, right here. Oh, it went away. Wait, he took it away. I swear that's me. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait. Wait. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, sir? For Brandon Awadis? Uh, hold on, guys. Let, let me see. Oh, for Brandon Awadis? Yeah, that's me. Uh, sorry, I was trying to get your attention, but it's all right. What's up, man? How are you? Welcome, welcome. No, right now. Somebody has your bag. Well, I swear, bro. I feel bad. Like I wanted to push my own bag, and he's like, "No, no, I got it. I got it for you." And I'm like, "I'm not used to this king treatment, bro." Shout out to the company, the brand that flew me out here. I feel bad. Like I want to push my own bag. You know what I mean? Well, babe, I'll pay forward the kindness, and I'll push your bag. I feel like I'm like LeBron James or something getting picked yeah. up, picked up in a car like this yeah. with my name on the iPad. You're right, yeah. That's the way it's supposed to feel. Right? And that's the way it's supposed to be done. I've never had this before. You gotta call me Drizzy Drake from now on. Drizzy <laughs> Drake. Drizzy Drake. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just walked into our hotel and if you're a real one like me, then you know when you check into your hotel on a vacation, before you go up to your room and see what your room looks like, you gotta do something first. Babe, what are we doing with? We got... Henny? The thing I like about Henny is when you drink Henny, anything is possible. You know what I mean? So, <sighs> we got Casamigos tequila, but I'm gonna just be honest with my supporters. Recently, I've been drinking tequila. I've been feeling like shit. I don't know why. I, I feel like I can't hang with tequila anymore. I feel like I'm getting too old and I can't keep up with tequila no more. Tequila's winning. I'm 28 years old now. I feel like tequila's taking over. It's, it's too much for me. So we're not gonna do tequila. Probably, should we do Hennessy? Or, okay, you know who has a problem with Hennessy? <laughs> My go-to is like vodka. You're such like. a little high school, college girl. I feel like vodka, the age is like when you're like in college party girl era. Really? Like this is for like 21 year olds. Like and when you first- Hennessy is for little children. What? Are you? <laughs> no. Can you come help me oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I was getting in trouble for like- <laughs> Yes, you are. Oh, okay. You get into your trouble. You get, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We should ask her, what should we get, vodka or Hennessy? So we're debating between a Hennessy bottle or some vodka? Yes, the baby's baby. Oh, she said vodka. So vodka. She's on my team. Okay, okay. All right, guys. I guess right. happy, happy life, life happy, happy life. life. So, hey, but she chose it. Vodka. So I guess we're going with the lady's choice. 
vodka instead of the man's choice, Hennessy. You know what I realized? I never get what I want. Just stuff. I yes, never you get do. Honey, you're gonna get what you want. Either way, no matter what. Okay. We drink. <laughs> In that case, we'll get the vodka. <laughs> okay, guys. So now that we got the first and most important, babe, I think you gotta hold the camera. <laughs> okay. So now that we got the most important thing out the way, now we can start our vacation. If you're the type of people that go on vacation, you go straight to your hotel room to relax before you stop and get the alcohol. You're not vacationing right, baby. And it's time to go see our room. We haven't been on vacation in a while. I'm excited. I know, I know. I'm excited too. Show me that you're excited. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna cut, <laughs> cut the vlog because I'm getting in the in the in my mode that I get. In. So let me cut the camera and we'll show you guys the room. We'll <laughs> show you guys the room in a little bit. Nervous. I didn't even start the elevator. She's shy. <laughs> She's shy. She oh, can't put God. the key in. Let me see your face. Am I making you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Remember those rumors of how you're gonna be pregnant after the trip? Yeah. I think it's gonna happen right now. All right, guys, now it's time for the room tour. It's your man's. Welcome. Welcome to our room. Babe, as much as I want you to give us the room tour, because, you know, you have a pretty face. You have a more beautiful face than me. It's better for the camera. You suck at talking, so let me take so, over and give yeah, them. You, and you over talk. Okay. Okay, so we need, like, a middle person. Grab That's true. Okay, Jasmine sucks at talking. She and talks. You talk Listen, still wait, let me. Much. Wait, Jasmine sucks at talking. She talks super quiet, and she talks too little but then me you talk too loud and you talk too much this is how i explain a sentence so guys today we're leaving san diego and we're going to las vegas for those who don't know i live in san diego and las vegas is where i'm going to go on vacation and if you don't know las vegas is in nevada so technically i'm taking a vacation from san diego to las vegas nevada and we're gonna have a lot of fun so drop a like on this video if you're excited oh and don't forget drop a like on this video as well so uh all right let's continue and don't forget guys drop a like okay, okay you know what i would say if you were the youtuber well, i'd be like guys we're in las vegas um drop a like on this video <laughs> exactly she under talks <laughs> okay, i over talk okay anyways babe let's get the room tour okay okay guys so oh my god i never even told them why i was here why I oh. okay I mean, this video is all over the place bro oh. anyways let's let's walk in okay. okay so this is our room oh wait before we show it we got the bathroom right over here so i don't know if you guys are like me but when a door closes i have to i always Always, why? I don't know why. It's just like a like a like an OCD thing. Like I have to make sure all the doors are always locked. I don't know why. I'm sure there's other people like that watching this video. But here's the bathroom, guys. You know, nothing too crazy. You got the sink. You got the freaking toilet where Jasmine takes her morning. No, shoes. where you're gonna shit. And he said, guys, there's no lock. How am I gonna poop? Is okay. you? I'm exposing you. <laughs> because because guys, look. I hate when hotels do this. Why? Why is there not a lock? Look at babe. Show a close up. What kind of door handle? Like, like, why? Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, whichever hotel I stay at, there's no lock. So when I come in the bathroom to take my morning poop, this is how I am. So when I'm <laughs> at my house and the door is locked and Jasmine's away, this is how I sit. I sit, I'm relaxed. I'm just like very relaxed. Like I'm, I'm having a good time. But in these hotels where there's no freaking lock on the door, I'm literally like this. I'm like, like, and I'm screaming. I'm like, babe, don't open the door. Yeah. And I'm literally threatening her. I'm like, I swear to God, babe, if you open the door, I'm not going to talk to you the rest of the day. Like, I have a genuine question. If anybody watching this video has an answer, I want you to comment down below. What is the point of these hotel rooms not having locks on the bathroom? Like, what purpose does it serve? I just don't understand. If you guys have an answer, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I would love, I would love to read it. As for right now, I'll never understand why the Hotel rooms don't have locks on the bathroom, and I can't poop in peace. Okay, but any, anyways, oh, the shower looks like a, a a pizza joint. You know how they have the brick walls? It's very, uh, what's the opposite of aesthetic? But anyways, enough with the shower. I do over explain myself. Like, what other YouTuber would spend three minutes showing a freaking toilet, toilet and the shower? What and describing other describing their morning poop? <laughs> What other YouTuber describes the bricks on the freaking shower wall? Anyways, let's go on to the room. It's a nice room. Okay, so this is the room. Um, we got mm -hmm. two beds. Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> okay, babe, just, at this point, we're already exposed to show. We got Jasmine's socks. <laughs> we got Jasmine's bra. 
And we got a towel that I don't even want to touch right now. Um, in case you guys can't tell, we actually came inside the room real quick before we recorded this room tour because, like I said, I was just. Wait, and the pillow's missing. On oh, the where's bed. the pillow? Oh, the pillow's missing. Chad. I didn't even realize. And we got the pillow. Wait, right, and then you left a note. Babe, do not show my note. Do not show my note. Do not show my note. <laughs> Listen, guys, it's like, okay, the plan was to come to the room and give you guys a room tour before we even saw the room. But like I said in the elevator, I just got in a certain mode, like a certain, like, how do I, how do I say it not to? Like a, like a certain baby making mode where I was like, babe, you know what? Fuck this video. We gotta, we gotta, mm, and then we'll, we'll give them the room tour. So anyways, we got exposed because Jasmine doesn't know how to clean up her clothes <laughs> or put the pillow back on the bed. Guys, this is the room. Are we too wild for YouTube? Like, I feel like we belong on another website oh, or something. Yeah. Okay, guys, so step one to starting your vacation was purchasing the alcohol. Step two, though, what's the point of purchasing the bottle if you're not gonna drink it? So once this sip goes down my throat, that's how you know the vacation has officially started. Some chaser at first, don't call me a pussy. Okay, call me a pussy, because I do need a chaser when I drink alcohol, so. Unless I'm like 10 shots deep and I'm already super drunk, then I don't need a chaser because I don't even taste what the fuck is going down my throat when I'm already blacked out. But anyways. I hate vodka. I don't know how you drink it, babe. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. But with all that being said, now the vacation has officially started, baby. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video because I know based on all your guys' positive feedback, you guys love the travel vlogs. You guys love the videos when my homebody ass gets up out of San Diego and actually leaves my house and travels the world. So today we're in a completely different state, Las Vegas, Nevada. Drop a like and enjoy the rest of this travel vlog. We set up our own little snack bar in the room with our candy, chips drinks and of course our era bottle this is our room and we have a really nice view. oh yeah i didn't show the view wait i want to show them the view <laughs> what's so funny babe it's a nice view guys we have an amazing view uh the reflections are a little a little too the, much the, the new york roller coaster there's the new york new york roller coaster we have a view of a lot of hotels but my favorite thing we have a view of the t-mobile arena and babe if you're a real one, what's happening at the T-Mobile Arena? Wait, I know. What? The Lakers are playing. Is that Why do you have to say the Lakers? You can't just say the basketball games. Why do you have to well, specify? Well, it's supposed to be the Suns, but, you know. The referees yeah, what happened? Playing. What happened? The referees are fake. Exactly. It was supposed to be the Suns. The Suns were supposed to be playing in this arena, but the referees cheated them out of a spot in the tournament, and they fucking rigged that game for the Lakers. Babe, have you ever seen someone call a timeout when it's a loose ball? How do you get a... Record I've me. never seen that in my What'd you life. Say? That's ridiculous. It is. Record me, because I have something to say. Do you want the extended version of my rant? No, please, no. Or the, the short? The short is normal people's extended. Do you want the extended or the short? Short! <laughs> I have a lot to say about the extended, but if we're going to keep it short, the league loves the Lakers. The <laughs> league has a crush on LeBron James. They couldn't do this in-season tournament without the Lakers. The Suns got cheated out of their game. The Lakers should not have won that game. Who gets a timeout when the ball was loose? No, no one had possession. Anyways, bro, if I keep talking, no. <laughs> it's gonna get bad. Long story short, the Suns got cheated. LeBron James got a free win handed to him, and now they're playing in that arena when it should have been the Phoenix Suns. Is that, is that, is that good or no? Yeah, that's Do good. I need to explain more or no? No, please don't. Okay. All my basketball fans would love this view because, oh my gosh, basketball hoops. Where? Look, there's like 10 of them. One, two, Where? three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Where? hoops right there, babe, babe, look, babe. I'm looking. Look at the freaking, look, 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 look. Where, right, where it says win or go home. There, oh, oh yeah, and the TNT in season tournament. Babe, that's gonna be on TV. That's where Chuck, Ernie, and Kenny talk and Shaq. Dude, we have an amazing view. Dude, record this right now. Record this right now. I'm sweating. I'm about to faint. I just thought we had a view of the arena. We have a view of the TNT crew. This is literally like what I watch on TV all day, bro. Who's the TNT crew? Shaq, Kenny, Chuck, Ernie. They talk after the games. Oh, they talk here? They're going to be there. Dude. Wow, that's actually crazy. Bro, all my basketball fans out there right now, you guys would be freaking out just like me if you saw the freaking TNT and ESPN booth. What a room tour. I didn't even know about this. When I walked into the room, I didn't even look at the view. I went straight on the bed and I made Jasmine come straight on the bed. Well, I didn't make her. That sounds wrong. Right? <laughs> Jasmine joined me on the, on the bed. We both decided to get on the bed. But now that I'm actually like 
clear-minded and I got that out of my system, now I can actually enjoy. Dude, wow, this is a this is a nice room and an amazing view, babe. Oh my god, I still never told them why okay, I Okay, are you gonna tell hold them? On, or hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this video is damn near 20 minutes long at this point. I still haven't told them why I came to Vegas. I still haven't told them who flew me out and got me this room. Okay, babe, I really would love to tell them right now, but can you please go get some food? I'm starving. We'll get food and then we'll tell them. Okay, guys. Well, keep watching this video. We're about to go grab some dinner. It's it's pretty late. Babe, what time is it? Like, is it like 8, 9 o'clock? It's, it's, it's 8. It's 8 o'clock? Okay, yeah. We pretty much haven't ate all day and uh, we're both hungry. So we're going to go grab some dinner. And after we have some food, after we eat, I promise you guys, I will tell you who sent me out here and what I'm doing in Las Vegas because you guys are going to be shook. It's a huge surprise and I'm so fucked excited to tell you guys you guys are not gonna believe it you guys are gonna freak out so just follow us to go get some dinner and then i'm gonna hit you with some exciting exciting news okay babe now that we've stepped outside what are we gonna eat i don't know we have to go on an adventure you like exploring huh uh-huh i you like look to good. walk you, you do too. Nah, you look good. Let me let me give a breakdown. Okay. The hairstyle is my favorite because I love the two strings. Let me see. Hold them both up. Hold both Hold the two strings. String. Yup. <laughs> I love when she has the two strings in the front. And then I also love when she doesn't straighten or curl her hair and she just leaves it natural. It's like a wavy, curly vibe. Yeah. That's my favorite. Okay. Now let me show you. I think you look good always. I'm literally wearing a Nike hoodie and basketball shorts <laughs> and some beat up Air Forces. There's no way you think I look good right now. I always think you look good. Thank you, I appreciate oh, it. Now course. let's go get some food. This is a nice view. Bro, I'm so pissed. The Suns should be playing there tomorrow, not the Lakers. Anyways, I, I gotta stop talking about it because it pisses me off every time I think about it. We should have been this close to Devin Booker and Kevin Durant. Instead, we're this close to Anthony Davis and LeBron James, bro. What the hell? Let's go find food. Okay, guys. So we are currently on a little adventure to go find some food. If we were in San Diego, it wouldn't be that much fun because we already know where all the oh, food no. spots are. So we would just, we get in the car and we know exactly where we're going. But here in Vegas, this is new to us. We're you know, literally, we don't even know what we're going to eat. We're just going to go walk and then see what sounds good. We're just trying to find food. We're on an adventure right now. We're exploring and how do you get to the... Oh, right we're in the, oh, right here, right here. We'll update you guys if we find any food. We will. Let's go, guys. Can we run? Can you say what I say? Let's go, guys. You want to run? No, let's hop. Let's skip. Why do you want to? Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm literally dating the child. Hey. Okay, guys, we're seeing some civilization. We're seeing some life. We might be able to find food soon, babe. And they have a roller coaster. Oh, wait. There's life. There's life. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a freaking arcade. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were coming here for food. We walked into a whole ass arcade. Dude, Vegas is fun. I might move here. I'm joking. I love San Diego too much. But anyways, this is fun. I feel like everything's open like 24 hours. Nothing ever closes here. Keep going. What? No, I'm not going on the roller coaster. Hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 no. Babe, babe, babe. I don't even go on Space Mountain at Disneyland. You think I'm going on this? You think I'm going on this? Roller nah, hell no. I will not. I will not. I won't, I won't. I promise you I won't. It's a memory. No, f the memory. I won't be alive to remember it. I'm going to die on the roller coaster. No, babe, I promise you I'm not. I'm not. I promise you I won't. Let's just go have some food and enjoy our night. Guys, if you don't know me, I am terrified of big roller coasters. I will not go. Hell no, hell no. You have fun, babe. I'll watch you. I'll pay for your ride. No, I will not go alone. It's for us. <laughs> I'll watch Jasmine. I'll pay for it. I'll record it. Where's I'll do. First spot? Oh, we found a food spot. Nathan. Look, there's more. Oh my God, there's so many. Where are we? Look, bro. Look what we just saw. What? Damn. Yo, what's up, bro? Yo. What's up, man? Yo. What's your name? You're in the vlog. Robert. Robert, nice to meet you. What's Is this up? A video? Hi. Yeah, you're in the video. Say what's up. What up? Did what's your up? chance to shine. Whatever you guys have wanted to say on YouTube, you gotta say it now. Subscribe to Broadus and Facebook. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay guys, so babe, do we risk it and go downstairs and try to find more food spots or do we just accept this Nathan's pizza, whatever? Nah. You want to take a chance? You want to risk it for the biscuit? Yeah. Okay, guys. So we're turning down Nathan's and we're... I see food over there, too. Okay, we're going to try to see if we find a better option uh, somewhere in this casino. How are we in New York? I thought we were in Nevada. Okay, I think I'm drunk. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. 
Okay guys, so we found a couple of food options. I see a pizza spot and a yeah. deli. Okay. Which one would you rather have? Uh, pizza? Sure, bro, you look so good right now. Like you're very natural, like your hair is natural, you have light makeup, you're dressed nice, you look good. Thanks babe. Huh? Oh. Okay, pizza, deli, Bro, it really feels like we're in New York. Dude, it really feels like we're in New York. Times Square hot dogs, 48th and crepe. It's like a little walkway of New York. That's true, it actually makes you feel like you're in New York. Oh look, the buildings, that's how the New York buildings are. Man, like Wizards of Waverly Place. No, like, it feels like I'm in Everybody Hates Chris, yo. Hey. Oh my God, it feels like I'm in New York. But with like hot weather, not cold. Wow, this is, this is actually crazy. And speaking of New York, if you're one of my subscribers and you live in New York, I love you guys. Actually, anywhere on the East Coast. If you're anywhere on the East Coast and you watch my videos, I love you guys. Babe, so now I get the point of this hotel and why it's called New York, New York. Because it's supposed to feel like you're in New York. Guys, this is the roller coaster. It legitimately is higher than the freaking hotel. That's how freaking scary it is. And it has a big loop to top it off. And you think I would go you on won't. it? You won't. Okay, let's go. I won't. You're right. I won't. Babe, no. That tactic is not going to work on me where Babe, you're like, you Don't be a little girl. You know that tactic people try to use that are like, You won't go on it. You, I bet you won't. Yeah, I you, bet you, won't. you bet your ass I will not go on that roller coaster. Yeah, you're right. I won't. That Wait, tactic yeah. will not work on me. But you would have so much fun like after. Like, fun, it would be like fun, <laughs> fun. What part of, oh my God, look at it. What part of this is fun. What's fun about it? The possibility of falling off and your life being over? The That's possibility. Kind of fun. The what? It's kind of fun. No, it's like an adrenaline rush. Fun. It is not babe, it'll fun. Be fun and okay, guys, so we made our mind up. We found a food spot. Mm. What is it, babe? Shake Shack. We're going to get Shake Shack. We found a Shake Shack here at New York, New York. And let's just go eat, please, for two reasons. Number one, we need to eat right now for two reasons. Number one, because I'm super hungry. And number two, because I'm dying to tell the vlog the big news of why I'm in Las Vegas. And that's only going to happen after we eat. So let's go eat real quick so I can break the big news to this vlog. All right, guys, so we got our food. Shake Shack burgers, so fire. They're crinkle cut fries, bomb. I know there's a huge debate, Shake Shack versus In-N-Out. Me personally, I go back and forth all the time. I can't pick. Some days In-N-Out is better, some days Shake Shack is better. I'm 50-50, I can't decide. What about you, babe? Uh, well, I think I'm an In-N-Out girl. You're definitely an In-N-Out girl. You're, you're a West Coast girl. Yeah. Okay guys, so we ate our dinner and as promised, it is finally time to tell you guys who flew me out here and what the heck I'm doing in Las Vegas. You guys are gonna be so freaking excited when you hear this. I don't even wanna waste any more time. Check this out. Dude, I, okay, I don't even know how to say this without a huge smile on my face, but the NBA flew me out. Yes, that's right, the NBA, National Basketball Association, paid for my flight, paid for my hotel room, and they booked me a trip to Las Vegas. Bro, if you guys have been rocking with me since I started my YouTube channel, if you guys are OG subscribers, then you guys understand how much this means to me. Like. Me and basketball, it, like, this is like a lifelong dream, bro. It's, it's, it's insane. I have no words. Like, I, I'm so humbled. I, it's such a blessing for me to be recognized by the NBA. For the NBA to contact me and tell me that they'll send me out to Las Vegas, it was like, this is like a dream come true, bro. The, the little kid inside of me is freaking out bro like like honestly ever since i was a little kid i still remember when i was like in middle school elementary school when i was like little when i was a little kid all the kids in my school would be talking about nickelodeon disney channel spongebob squarepants they would talk about playing video games call of duty and i would be that weird nerd kid that would only talk about sports basketball Phoenix Suns, the NBA. This has literally been a lifelong dream of mine ever since I was a freaking kid to be recognized and noticed by the NBA. So when my manager got that call and he hit me up like, yo, the NBA wants to work with you, I almost fainted. This is just a dream come true and 
I, I don't know if you guys understand how much this means to me, but it's just crazy. But anyways, guys, now to the main point. You guys are probably confused, Brandon. Why did the NBA fly you out to Las Vegas? Well, here's where things get interesting. The NBA is hosting a content creator basketball game. It has a lot of content creators like myself, uh, Jesser, T-Jazz, and a lot of other influencers. We're all playing in a basketball game. That's tomorrow. So that's going to be in my next video. But bro, that's going to be so lit. We're playing on the actual court. The same court that the Lakers, LeBron James is playing on, the, the T-Mobile Arena. We're playing our influencer basketball game on that court. Once again, bro, I'm just so humbled. And it's such a big blessing to be recognized by the NBA to be flown out here by the NBA and to be able to play in an influencer basketball game hosted by the NBA. It's just a dream come true for me. And I, I want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of you guys who watch my videos and support me because if it wasn't for you guys, if it wasn't for you guys showing me all the support that you do, I would never, ever, ever be recognized by the NBA. So I owe everything to you guys. I love you guys. And just thank you guys. Thank you so much to my supporters for putting me in this position and giving me this opportunity. So yeah, I've been holding in that secret all video that the NBA sent me out here. And now it's finally out. Just the fact that the NBA knows who I am. Like bro, I'm literally living a dream. And I just can't wait till tomorrow night. This content creator basketball game is, is gonna be crazy. They're letting me record the whole thing and post it on my YouTube channel. So hey, drop a like on this video right now if you enjoyed this travel vlog. But even better, drop a like on this video if you're excited excited for my next upload which is going to be the full influencer basketball game let's go baby oh wait guys the nba didn't only fly me out here for that influencer basketball game they also got me free tickets to the lakers game so let's go see lebron james baby guys so we came down in front of the arena and look it's them bro chuck kenny ernie and chef we're seeing them in person. Guys, they actually got me tickets to the Lakers and Pelicans game. I don't know if they know that I hate the Lakers, but either way, I'm appreciative. Bro, we're here in front of the arena. We're about to go watch the Lakers game. You already know I had to throw on my Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker jersey to go watch the Lakers game. It's just out of respect for D-Book, you know what I mean? But hey, shout out to the NBA for these tickets and let's go watch the game. The Suns should have really been here though. We... I wish I was watching the Suns so You're a Suns fan? Obviously. <laughs> you don't have a choice, do you? No, I don't. Dating me, you don't have a choice. You gotta be a Suns fan. But bro, I really should have been walking in to watch a Suns game right now, but the Lakers, yeah. <laughs> bro, this is so sick. We're out here. Las Vegas in the arena where the Lakers and Pelicans are playing right now. LeBron James is here right now inside there, bro. So the NBA got us a little table for the game. Bro, look at this. Oh my God, this is so sick. We got Lakers versus Pelicans in season tournament. This is insane. Oh, I see LeBron right there. LeBron right there. Lakers still Pelicans basketball. Seeing LeBron in person is crazy. That's the greatest player of all time. Let me see him in, on the court. Right there, there's LeBron. Shout out to the NBA for this opportunity, bro. This is once in a lifetime. Brandon Ingram to Valanciunas. Valanciunas mid-range. Miss. Right into the rebound to D'Lo. D'Lo coming down the court. Anthony Davis sets the pick. D'Lo going in. Midi, pull up. D'Lo! Wow. This is a packed house for the Lakers. Everyone wants to see the Lakers play. Oh, LeBron, I would have got that on video. I know I'm a Suns fan, but I love LeBron. A lot of people are surprised when I say that LeBron's the greatest of all time because I'm a Suns fan and I do hate the Lakers. I'm not gonna lie. So people are like, wait, what, Brandon? LeBron's a Laker. Why are you showing him his respect? I appreciate greatness and LeBron is greatness. That's the greatest player of all time, the GOAT. So LeBron has my respect. You gotta appreciate whenever you get to watch LeBron live because you don't get these moments very often and you don't know how much longer he has left in the league. So whenever I get to watch LeBron live in person, I always like, I'm always appreciative of it. You know what I mean? Babe, we're rooting for the Lakers to lose, okay? Yeah, yeah. We're Suns fans and Laker haters, okay? Okay. But with all that being said, I do have one thing to say. Now that everybody's here, we're at the arena, packed, sold out crowd. I think now is the perfect time to say what I need to say. I think I need to stand when I say this. It'll make more of an emphasis.
I'm nervous. <clears throat> the sun should have been here. The sun should have been here. The sun should have been here. It was rigged for the Lakers. The sun should have been here. They know what the sun should have been here. Okay, now I'm about to get kicked out, so let me stop talking and just enjoy the game. Bro, this is insane. The Lakers are up by 40 points. Pelicans suck. I'm sorry. I just got to be real honest with everyone watching this video. How do you lose by 40? It's not like the Suns ever lost by this much to Luka in, in the playoffs. This is a disgrace. This is embarrassing, Pelicans.